Good day guys, welcome to my Rx Supplies feature video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL's Round 21 tips and predictions for 2023. Guys, let's get started. So starting off with this first game of this match, we see the Dragons going up against the Tigers. Now in this game, um, wow, this is absolutely epic. This is absolutely really good. Um, and also in this game, um, they've still got Jerome Buller in the side for the fullback. They've still got um, Dane Murray in that number six position for the team. And they've still got um, David Nofaluma in that number two for the team. Which clarifies um, that position that it's going to be tough, it's going to be hard. And I just reckon that it won't be an outgoing game because things like this don't really happen that often and very well. And so in this match, I just reckon that the Tigers aren't really that good. But also the Dragons aren't really that good. But how they're playing is confidential. And it's hard to pick for each of these two. So, um, in this match, the Dragons, I'm going to go with you guys. By six points in this side for the team. And um, I just reckon that the Dragons will only just get a winning try to basically win this game against the top West Tigers. But the Tigers will play well, but I just don't think that the Tigers will improve um, in this performance for the team. So I'm going to go um, with the Dragons by six points um, in this match to uh, win this game against the Tigers in the, this game. The next game of this match, we see the Warriors going up against the Raiders. Now, in this game, um, this performance um, is absolutely unbelievable. And I just reckon that in this side for the team, it could be one of the most hard games in this match for sure. And what I could see in this game is, I just do hope that, obviously, uh, the Warriors... They've been improving lately with Sean Johnson in the side. He's been absolutely phenomenal for the Warriors and obviously without him, there's no Warriors at all and they'll be struggling with heaps of potential in this game or in the season, pretty much. But then the Raiders, they're coming off strong, they're coming off good, but I just don't see them winning against um, the Warriors in this match and in this game I just reckon that so um, Chante Nicol Klockstad is in number one position for the team still got Marcelo Montoya in that number five position for the team still got Luke Metcalf in that number six and Sean Johnson in num number seven which clarifies Rocco Berry number three and Adam Pompey in number four and Dylan Martinez Lesniak and that number two uh, side for the team. But then again, um, Dylan Martinez Lesniak going up against Albo Halpawate. Um, it's going to be tough with those two going against each other. And it's going to be hard and tough for them because Dylan is quite good and he's a top finisher um, for the side for the team. So in this match, I am going to go with my heart out in this game with the Warriors by 12 points in this match to defeat the Raiders in this game. The next game of this match we see the Rabbitohs going up against the Broncos. Now, in this game, um, it's going to be played at Sunshine Coast Stadium near, obviously, Broncos um, area. So, um, it's basically the Rabbits' um, home game. But finally, there's that man I'm look, being looking for. Trail Mitchell is back in that number one fullback position for the team. Hopefully, he's going to bring talent, speed, 
accuracy for the team and hopefully he's going to bring some more depth in the side. So going up against the Broncos, but basically I think um, the Broncos are obviously like a really good team, but it's hard to pick really because uh, the Broncos, I reckon they've been good. I reckon they, like they've been tough, but I just don't see this game being as quite as quite um, uh, good for the side for the team. So um, the Rabbitohs, um I just see that um, for uh, the Rabbits, well, Troll Mitchell, I reckon he will score any time. But let's hope he does, because he's just been lazy, and he needs to obviously um, have that depth um, and be strong uh, for the side for the team. So in this game, I'm going to go with the Rabbitohs by six points in this side for the team, and I just reckon that the Broncos will do well, but not enough to conceal the win against the Rabbitohs in this side. Uh, for the team, and it'll just be hard and tough in this game for sure. The next game of this match, we see the Titans going up against the Roosters. Now, in this game, the Roosters have been very poor lately, and obviously, James Tedesco back uh, for the side for the team. He has been rested from State of Origin uh, duty, and um, obviously, in this game, um, the Titans, they've got AJ Brimson at number one uh, side for the team, which clarifies Jaden Campbell um, in that 14 uh, position for the team for the interchange bench. And I just think that obviously um, in this match, the Roosters, they've been pretty good, they've been doing pretty well. Um, I just think that obviously uh, the Titans they'll improve against the Roosters because I just see them coming out firing in this game and AJ Brimson going up against James Tedesco it's going to be tough for James Tedesco because obviously um, AJ Brimson has got that speed and electrolyte and acceleration so in this match It'll be tough. It'll be hard. But I just still think that the Roosters will improve, but not enough to conceal the deal in this game for sure. So, obviously in this match, I'm going to go with the Titans by six points in this side for the team. And I reckon that the Roosters will improve, but not enough to conceal the deal against the Titans to basically win in their home game against the Roosters and this match. The next game of this match we said the, the Knights going up against the Melbourne Storm now. Um, obviously in this game the Knights have been um, a bit shocking but sometimes they can come out firing and play a good game. But uh, going up against the Melbourne Storm, they've been pretty hard because obviously with Cameron Munster, Jerome Hughes, um, Xavier Coates, basically um, Will Warbrick. Then you've got Nick Meany, Remus Smith, um, Harry Grant. So obviously um, in this game, it's going to be one hell of a match because obviously the Knights aren't doing well and obviously like they're just not improving lately uh, for sure but for the Knights Caelan Pong is still number one side for the team Tyson Gamble is in that number six uh, I'm not sure who's in that number seven uh, side for the team, um, but then again, the Knights 
with Tyson Gamble. He's been proven lately, but then again, with Dominic Young, I reckon he will score like two tries in this slot for the team. And in this match, I am going to go with the Melbourne Storm by 18 points in this game. And I reckon that the Melbourne Storm will come out firing in this game for sure. And to improve this match, the Melbourne Storm will win against the Newcastle Knights. The next game of this match, we see the Cowboys going up against the Parramatta Eagles now. Okay, in this game, um, finally, the Parramatta Eels won against the Titans last week, 25 to 24. But the Cowboys going up against you guys. The Cowboys have got really good players, such as Chad Townsend, Scott Drinkwater, Cole Felt, um, I think Peter Hiku. You name it, it's going to be a real tough and hard game. And just so you know, last time these two sides play, the Paramount Eagles won, and Entertain House was in that um, stadium, and I wasn't, so unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't in that stadium. So in this match, the Cowboys... They've been improving lately, and they obviously won against Manly, 19 points to 8. And obviously, 25 to 24, they obviously won by 1 for the Paramount Eels. And so, in this match, I just reckon that it's going to be hard. It'll be tough, and I reckon it'll be a field goal opportunity for the Paramount Eels to kick only one so Paramount Eagles by one and I just reckon that will happen because those two sides will go at each other and it'll be hard and tough because obviously Mitchell Moses going up against Chad Townsend Chad Townsend and that side for the team it'll be hard and tough but I'm going to go with the Paramount Eagles by one point in this game the next game of this match, we see the Panthers going up against the Bulldogs. Now, in this game, the Panthers, I just reckon that since you guys have good players, and plus Nathan Cleary is back due to, I think, the injury. Maybe like a shoulder injury, I'm not exactly too sure. Um, but for that number five, for the Bulldogs. No Josh Adokar, which sees Gerald Skelton in that number five side for the team. And which I do think that I reckon it'll be hard and tough. But the Panthers, in their home stadium, they'll get the job done easy. Because with Isaac Targo in that number three, you obviously still got uh, Dylan Edwards in that number one position for the team. Sonoma Tufa in that number two. Um, basically, uh, Stephen Crichton in that number four, I think. Which still still uh, sees uh, Brian Toppo in that number five uh, position for the team. But for um, Bulldogs, no Hayes Perham still. So you still got um, Jake Avarillo in that number one uh, position for the team. In that number seven, you got Cole Flanagan in that number seven position, which sees um, Matt Burden in that number six side for the team. So in this match, I am going to go with the Panthers by 12 points in this game because I reckon that the Panthers will have their win at home against the Bulldogs in this side for the game. And finally, the next game of this match, we see the Sharks going up against the Manly Sea Eagles. Now, in this game, um, Manly lost against the Cowboys 19 points to 8. I'm not too sure about the Sharks, but obviously in their home game, I could see them coming out firing um, in this match 
we still see uh, see us off the um in that number four position for the team. Um, but then again, you still got um, still got uh, Manly in that side for the team, and which I do see um, in this match. I reckon that Manly will win, but you still got Ruben Garrick um, in that number one position for the team. Still no uh, Tom Trevojevic. I think he's out for the season. So in that number five, you've got um, Christian Tui Pialotu um, in that side for the team. So in that match for the Sharks, you still got William Kennedy in that number one position for the team. You still got uh, Matt Boylan in that number six position for the team. So in this match, I am going to go with the Sharks by six points in this side for the team. And I just reckon that they'll only just win because in the Sharks' home game, the Lions will have a great game, but mainly will improve, but they won't win. And the Sharks will only just um, get a celebration try. So the Sharks will win by six points in this side for the team. And I just reckon that Manly will uh, struggle in this match. And thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you do like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.